This is a DC uh, permanent magnet indoor fan motor um, that came out of a Mitsubishi that I'm currently working on. I just thought I'd open it up for you guys to take a look at if you haven't seen a permanent magnet. I think it says eight magnets inside this motor. Um, and uh, it's quite interesting when you take it off and you, you, know, you take it out of the fan scroll and you turn it. It's quite, there's a fair bit of resistance there. So uh, initially you think that the, that the motor could be partially seized. Um, but in essence, it's actually um, what you might be feeling is the resistance of the magnets inside the motor. Uh, anyway, um, to get it open, it's pretty pretty simple um, for this particular motor. You've just got to tap it with a with a mallet, uh, and that'll knock off uh, basically this end dust cap. Um, so once you once you get it knocked off, you can pull it out, um, and this gives you a, a good indication of what's inside. see the magnets uh, that are around. Um, so I typically do a visual inspection first uh, and uh, and then uh, we test the, the actual bearings as well. Uh, and you'll notice uh, if there's any um, rocking or um, sort of unsmooth activity or noise coming from the bearings, you'll know that would need uh, either to be pressed out of place. Pretty much standard. Uh, see if it focuses in on the type of bearings this particular has. Uh, this is out of a six kilowatt. Um, and actually uh, you can use, because everything's nice and clean on this particular example, um, these bearings will actually slide out with my hand. I can actually pull this on, on the shaft and out um, inside the motor. Uh, there's a little uh, press clip that's down the bottom there. I'm not quite sure if the official name um, but it's a little spring-loaded washer um, it's, it's wavered um, designed to just again push up hard up against that uh, that surface once the bearings uh, go back in um, but anyway I just thought I'd show you what it looks like uh, you can see the windings and the magnetics uh, the other side just there um, yeah, there you go.